Okay, on this video, I'm pretty much just gonna just show you how to make your wallpaper uh, fit your screen properly. So, for example, like my my wallpaper that I made, it fits my uh, my uh, computer screen properly. So, the first thing what you want to do to find out the screen size that you're actually using and or your resolution so we're gonna uh, right click on here then we're gonna click on uh, screen resolution then once you click on this page right here pretty much it's gonna tell you your screen resolution so for example like mine screen resolution it's six uh, 1600 by 900 and that's my max resolution. Um, it depends on your uh, on your computer screen. <clears throat> Mine's a wide angle computer screen. Mine's the HP X20 LED screen. So it really depends on yours. So so in order for you to make a um, wallpaper that will fit your um, your screen properly pretty much you need this number and uh, then when you and then if you, hopefully you have Photoshop if you don't you could download it for free on um, on photoshop.com and you can just try do the trial version so pretty much what we're gonna do is just hit new and then your screen size you're gonna be uh, by pixels it's gonna be 16 by 9, 900. So, so 1600 by 900, and you could put resolution 72, but I like I like to use 300, and the rest could be the same, or could stay the same. And this will be my screen my screen resolution. So, to show you exactly exactly that my screen will fit here properly so what I'm gonna do on my um, on my keyboard oh, I don't have a light here. Here on my keyboard it has a, a print button and I'm pretty sure all, all, all the other all keyboards have this button <clears throat> and um if you press this button one time, whatever whatever's on your screen, it'll just copy it. So whatever's on your screen, no matter what you have open, it'll copy it. So if there's a, if there's if you're on a website and there's a copyright, not a copyright, they don't want you to copy anything off the website. You could just push that button and copy it, no matter what. So let me see. Continue on to the subject. So. Now I copy that to my uh, my uh, computer. So all I have to do is just go here to um, edit. We're gonna go to edit, and then pretty much we're just gonna hit paste. So when I hit paste, exactly what I have on my computer screen, now I have it on here. As you can see, and, it's, and it fits perfectly. And the reason why is because this page is open as 1600 by 900. So, just say, for example, um, well, that's the well, this is a way I, I edit my background by, um, by making sure that uh, like I could always make a line like the line down here on my screen I can make it darker or, or edit it however I want so I don't know it's just uh, what you want to do with your wallpaper so just for example I'm gonna grab uh, the ruler from up here and I'm gonna drag it down and then I'm gonna just drag it over here 
and lock it there just to get the divider between the the that bar and my wallpaper and then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna make another um, layer oh no my mouse is acting funny I'll make another layer and, and I'll close this let me see let me make this um, black so I can see it because right now I have it on gray so now so now this bar right here is going to uh, give me an indication that under whatever is under here is going to be under my uh, test bar so if I really wanted to I could just turn it black oh, let me see I'm going to get my little tool right here my little tool and I'm just going to paint this black I'm going to paint this black down here so I'll just say if I so now here is black down here is black and um, the top we could turn into a different color say like a bluish but this would be used your whatever picture you put on your wallpaper just to get the right resolution but I'm just gonna just mess around right now whoa that does not look good on the And so pretty much what you do, just say you're done editing your wallpaper. All you do is just save as, save, save as a JPEG. I'm gonna save mine as on my desktop. What, name it whatever. So pretty much. So now, how I edit my picture is just that right now I, I want whatever's under this bar to be black and whatever is above this bar to be um, what whatever my wallpaper is so so this is it right here I want to right click and we're gonna set this as a desktop so now as you can see my desktop is just blue and under this bar Okay, under this bar is uh, anything under this bar is just black. Okay, so pretty much this is how you customize your wallpaper to fit your right resolution um, size screen. Because I know where sometimes when you get a wallpaper it's not the right size and the picture looks funny it's like uh, it's too it's too out or too in or too zoomed in and too zoomed out if you want your wallpaper to fit perfectly just remember just find out your resolution on your screen and then put it onto Photoshop and then you guys go on from there so hopefully this helped you a little and um, yeah I'll be putting up more um, tips and tricks videos on this channel of my Beamer Fanatics channel so thank you guys for watching once again and here's another example of what I did um, I copied and pasted it from um, my screen um, button from my keyboard so pretty much you could copy and paste anything if you didn't know that well now you know okay talk to you guys later